when a storm comes, when they're threatening wind and rain. You have to look around. Where are the spots around you that would be a weak spot in case of a lot of wind or a lot of rain? And then you try to compensate, strengthen those weak spots. And it's the same with your mind. These warnings we're having from the hurricane are pretty vague because there haven't been that many in Southern California. In the same way the Buddha gives warnings, saying aging is going to come, illness is going to come, death is going to come. It's kind of vague though. We don't know when, we don't know where, we don't know how. But we do know that there are certain things we have to do in order to prepare. And one of them is to check out your weak spots. The Buddha calls this having a sense of yourself. And you look at yourself. How strong is your conviction that what the Buddha gained awakening to is really true? And particularly, its implications for the power of your actions. Do you really believe in the power of your actions, for good or for evil? If that conviction is weak, then you're not going to be that much motivated to make conversations because you feel, well, there's nothing much I can do. But if you believe that your actions can make a difference, you really want to focus on what difference you can make. Then you check your virtue. Is your virtue strong? In the areas where you're weak in the precepts, how can you strengthen yourself so that you can hold firm to those precepts? In terms of your generosity, are there areas where you could be more generous than you have been? We go through life amassing things, and there's an old belief that whoever dies with the most toys wins. But you still die, and you have to leave the toys behind, and they don't do any good at that point. But if you've been generous, then that becomes part of your wealth that you can take with you. Because you can't take your belongings, but you can take the qualities of your mind. How about your learning of it in the Dharma? Areas of the Dharma where you could read more, get more knowledge? Then your discernment. How discerning are you about your actions and how skillful they are, where they can be made more skillful, and where the lack of skillfulness comes from? What, what is it that wells up in the mind that persuades you that you really should give in to your greed or aversion or delusion or your lust or your fear? How can you counteract those things? That's what discernment is for. It's to be used. And finally, your ingenuity. You can learn things from other people. But you need to use your own ingenuity to face situations as they come up. How have you practiced that? Uh, any of these areas where you still feel you're weak? Okay, work on those areas. So when the storms of aging, illness, and death come, those weak areas won't betray you. You'll be strong all around. <laughs>